All right, so this was the Asus G15. This was a very well-reviewed device, and I think for a lot of people, they would consider this to be the best gaming laptop of its class. So it was thin and light, AMD CPU, uh, NVIDIA GPU. It was just stacked with a lot of good components and delivered great performance for a reasonable price. I just, it was good, and it's the device that I use. This is my personal laptop that I bought, right? This is a, this is a great device. Now, a little while ago, I was sent this thing. Also from Asus, this is the M16. Now the idea behind this product and the G15 is very similar. Same kind of design language, same footprint. A lot of it is identical between the two, but the two big differences. Number one, it's running an Intel CPU instead of AMD, but also the screen is a lot nicer. Like this is a full screen, no chin, thin bezels. It's just an excellent, really nice looking screen. Now. The first thing I want to talk about is the CPU. So on this particular unit, this is running the Intel 11900H. It's a fast CPU and the temperature is actually a little bit lower than the AMD based G15, which is a little bit misleading. We'll get into that in a second, but it's a great performer. And if you do stuff like video editing and you can take advantage of hardware based encoding, the Intel product is going to be better. It also has undervolting, something that I'm glad to see because it does help with temperatures for the people that want to get a little sweaty in the BIOS. Okay, let's talk about the GPU. So this is where things get a little bit interesting. This product, the M16, is equipped with an RTX 3060. For that price point of $1,680 or whatever, it has an RTX 3060. The G15, at an equivalent price point, has an RTX 3070. And my initial reaction to this was, the G15 has got to be better. It's got to be noticeably faster, right? Because 3070s are better than 3060s. Okay, here's the cool thing. So because the clock speed on the Intel chip is a little bit faster, it can keep up really close to an RTX 3070 equipped G15. It's quite impressive. Now keep in mind, this is only for rasterized graphics. If you're talking about ray tracing, it's a completely different story. The 3070 is going to outperform the 3060, but when it comes to regular graphics, just you know, regular DirectX graphics, it's very close between the two systems. Now keep in mind, the M16 does not have the, of the option of a 3080 configuration. You can only get with an RTX 3060 or an RTX 3070. Whereas the G15, you could get all of the video cards, the 3060, 37, 3080. And I think it boils down to the thermal capabilities or thermal limitations of this chassis. When you have a chip like this new Intel i9 or i7, whatever you get in here, you have to do a couple things to this product to make it work. Number one, they've made this back rubber strip here a little bit thicker. So it's made the device slightly taller on the back end, but it allows for more airflow. Number two, the fans are noticeably louder in the M16 than the G15. Like we're talking in terms of perceived volume, I wanna say it's like 50% louder at the top end than the G15. That's not an exaggeration. Like if you look at the decibel ratings, the numbers aren't that far apart, but in terms of perceived volume, because it's logarithmic, it's noticeably louder than the G15. And then the third thing is that you can't get an RTX 3080 in this system. Now it's possible that it's related to supply chain issues, but my gut feeling is that if they put a 3080 in here, it would not be able to keep up the, the thermal requirements of the Intel chip. So the screen, this is my favorite part about this device. It's bright, it's color accurate, it's fast. It's just an awesome screen. It's 16 by 10 aspect ratio. It's got a webcam up top. It's just so good. It's great for games, great for video editing. And it's a screen that's actually so bright that when I'm playing certain games, I actually have to dim down the screen a bit. It's just a really, really nice looking screen. The keyboard is slightly improved over the G15. Now I'm partial to that G15 keyboard. I really like it. I've gone so used to it over the past few months. It's a great layout and the responsivity of the M16 version is slightly better and it also has a RGB variant if you're into that kind of stuff. But there is one thing and it, there's no print screen. So I'm someone that uses the print screen frequently. People always say, oh, just hit Windows Shift S. Everyone knows about that shortcut, but it's not the same the Windows print screen button would put a file directly into a folder just without any other clicks or buttons. Windows Shift S just puts it into your clipboard. They're completely different. Okay, uh, the keyboard though, it's awesome. And I think most people that touch this thing are gonna like it. It's just a nice feel and great layout. I should mention that the keyboard deck has a soft touch finish. I like this material, but it does show oily fingerprints and smudges quite readily. 
The trackpad's also well done. It's got clean mechanics on it with a nice glass surface texture. It's a good one. Speakers as well. For a gaming laptop, I'd say these are like a B plus at least. There's just not much competition out there in terms of gaming laptop speakers. These are pretty good. They're just nothing like an actual set of good laptop speakers like Apple is producing. All right, inside we have two drive bays that are super fast. These are PCIe 4. There's also a single replaceable RAM slot. The other component of the RAM is soldered on board. There's also replaceable Wi-Fi, and the battery down here is 90 watt hours. Now, I ran my battery test a couple times just to be sure, but I'm getting noticeably shorter battery life on the M16 than the G15. I don't know if it's because of the screen difference or it's an Intel chip difference, but it is a lot shorter. So G15, I got six and a half hours on multiple tests. On the M16, I got five and a half hours. That's like, I don't know, almost I don't know, 15, 20% less battery life on the same battery size. So my overall take on this product, I like the M16 a lot. And considering it's fairly reasonable price point, I'd actually consider it to be, for a lot of people, the better choice than the G15, but it's really dependent on what you want to get out of your gaming laptop. There are trade-offs. Like, so one, you don't get the top end GPU performance. If you want a 3080, you have to go with the G15. You do have a slightly thicker feeling device. Like there's that extra rubber strip on the bottom. Plus the screen is a little bit thicker because the drivers and stuff are on the back of the display. And it's also a slightly louder machine. And it's hard to convey this stuff, like, you know, the importance of it, right? Because everyone's different about how, how annoying is fan noise to you. I will say one thing. When I edit videos, I require, like, because I'm doing it, you know, I'm listening to the audio while I'm doing it, I need my computer to be as quiet as possible. And on the M16, I found that the frequent fan noise is, it's just, it's a little bit too much. I much prefer editing videos on the G15, despite the drop in performance and despite the smaller screen. I actually like the G15 more than the M16 for my personal use, but that's, yeah, that's, that's for me. That's a personal thing. Okay, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you liked it, subs if you loved it. I'll see you guys next time.